Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss about the Lagrangian method. Now the Lagrangian methods are uh, compatible with the Newton's laws of equation and they are based basically upon the idea of conservation of energy and they are more fundamental statements we can say that govern the motion of the particles and the bodies right so if we consider that there is a body which has got large number of particles let's say it has got n number of particles right so if there are n number of particles so the total energy for the system can be given as half m i x i square where i is ranging from 1 to n right so number of particles whatsoever is the number of particles sorry this is into up to m where m is what it is the degree of freedom or you can see the number of degrees of freedom because we are assuming there are number of particles so it may have number of degrees of freedom and the cartesian positions they are given by let's say x1 x2 up to x i so if the system has only one degree of freedom so we'll be using only one cartesian position which is x1 and the number of particles will also be one so in that case m will become equal to n now if the system it is traveling in three dimensions so what will happen each particle will require three x i coordinates so the degree of freedom m will become three into n now if you want to find the value of momentum now because there are n number of components therefore we are using pi right now n number of particles are there so what is momentum if we want to define momentum in terms of kinetic energy that will be what differentiate differential of kinetic energy with velocity right so if you differentiate this you'll get m into x dot so mass into velocity will give the value for momentum and for this equation if we find its time derivative it becomes what it becomes so this is what this is basically m i into x i dot right so if we find the time derivative of this it becomes m i into x i double dot which is basically mass into acceleration now if we are denoting potential energy with v so in the conservative force field what will happen the force on the particle it can be given by the derivative of potential energy at the particle position right in whatever direction in whatever desired direction it has to be given so it will be given by minus derivative of uh, this potential energy with respect to the desired direction right now new if you apply the newton's law so it says what force is equal to rate of change of momentum right so this is how with respect to time so this is how we can write the newton's law and if by using this newton's law we take the values from here so what is the put uh, this momentum it is del t upon del x i right i dot sorry so this is what we have written and its time differential which is d upon dt is equal to what force in terms of potential energy so this is the equation that we get now from where are we getting this equation so if we say that the differential of this uh, potential and kinetic energy with respect to displacement and velocity if this is equal to zero so we can also write this equation in this form so differential of t minus v because if their differentials are zero so we can write in place of t we can write t minus v and in place of v we can write t minus v again so and t minus v is given what it is known as the lagrangian function or simply lagrangian can be called so instead of t minus v we can write l so this is how the actual equation looks like which is the time derivative of uh, this differential of lagrangian with respect to velocity which is x i dot minus differential of lagrangian with respect to x i which is the displacement and this is equal to zero now if we talk about a simple spring mass system which is so a mass m connected with a spring s of basically the spring stiffness uh, s and it has got some displacement x so what type of system it is it is a system with single degree of freedom so what is its 
kinetic energy it is half m x dot square and what is its potential energy because of the strain energy it is half into spring stiffness s into x square and Lagrangian is what t minus v so we can write the equation in this way right and if we place the value of l in this equation right what is the equation we get this is the equation that we get which is m d square x upon dt square which is basically mass into acceleration so we can write this equation as m into x double dot plus spring stiffness s into displacement is equal to zero so this is the equation that we get and the same equation you'll get whether you use Lagrangian method or the Rayleigh's method or energy method Newton method any method we use the resultant or maybe you can say the equation that we get will remain the same so in the same equation we can write the equation as x double dot plus s upon m into x where s upon m gives the value of under root of s upon m gives the value of the natural frequency of the system